it is me, Brittany. Um, I've recorded this more than one time now, um, just to kind of talk about mental, mental health and my goal, uh, along with a lot of people's I hope, is to break this stigma that, um, or this taboo over mental illness and just basically normalize it so that people don't feel scared to ask for help or that, um, you know, people think it, mental health is a joke or it's this made up thing or it can be controlled and a lot of times it can be manageable. Controlled is not the right word. Um, I don't think you can fully 100% manage a mental illness once you have one or once you are diagnosed with one. I feel like mental illness is one of those things you probably have most of your life and you just didn't realize it or you didn't know what those feelings were. Um, a lot of times we don't immediately ask for help, we wait a lengthy period of time and at that point it tends to have escalated and <clears throat> We probably have had episodes to where the police are involved or someone saw you doing something or experiencing, say, hallucinations, uh, paranoia is one that's normal. But with my mental illness, I have depression and anxiety. And then, of course, I was later diagnosed with substance abuse disorder, which a lot of people was like, oh, that's addiction, baby. Like. Yeah, and it is, but it's also classified as a disability now, um, which has a lot to do with the way your chemicals in your brain are set up and how they function and carry out certain things. Um, but back to the depression and anxiety. I never knew that I had depression and anxiety until I was 25. I was diagnosed through the college, the university I was going to school at. The irony is when I had taken, you know, the test to, 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 to distinguish, you know, how high or how bad or whatever, um, how severe my depression is. I don't like rating things because I just think, you know, if something is, it is. Like, it lies a lot, you know. So I just feel like depression is depression. Um, it can be more severe, I think, but... I think depression is depression. And um, when I say more severe, I mean uh, more or less the side effects that kind of go along with some people's depression. Like um, with my depression, I'm very antisocial. Uh, the thought, depression, anxiety. Let me throw that in there one more time. The anxiety part of me hates socialization. I do not like the crowds. A lot of times I hate going out uh, to group things like parties and things like that in high school. I never knew that I had anxiety issues, but I always felt that way. Um, but at the same time, whatever other part of personality I have was a social butterfly. I love talking to people. I love helping people, I love interacting with people, I love talking, I like getting to know people, I love learning from people. Um, so it's kind of like a catch-20 contradiction, I live every day type thing, but I guess the moral of the story in this video is just to say, like, if you feel like you need help and you're too scared to ask, don't be. Because there are plenty of people in this world that have disabilities, that have disorders like anxiety, depression, schizoaffective disorder, um, bipolar. Yeah, there are things like autism and things like that. Do not be afraid to ask for help, although autism is a different kind of type of category than anxiety and depression. I guess I look at like the disorders and diagnosis in like the DSM-5, um, but there's help out there. You may need to do some research. If you cannot find help, I'll be more than glad to help you. Um, I cannot guarantee to find you help, but I can guarantee that I will search and help as much as I can to get the help that you need. Um, do not be scared.
That was just literally around, around, right around the corner. And it'll be the best decision you've ever made, I can promise. But so this video is about poem, which poetry was the way um, I dealt with a lot of my emotions as a child, teenager, adult now. I, I wrote this a few years ago, but I had to deal with relationship and um, it's how I felt. And a lot of times my poetry talks about the other person, but in a sense, like, these are my feelings that I allow to happen. And as I learned more about myself and I learned things in life, I've also learned that we allow people to treat us away and we let them, sh we, the way people act, we allow it, it can continue. If we set boundaries and, you know, certain standards, and that's, if that person will abide by it or they will not be in your life any longer. And I do struggle with those boundaries dealing with certain family members just because there are certain aspects that I love my family and my family is my number one no matter what. But they do certain things that I can't can't handle. I can't process sometimes. It's just a little overwhelming. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> so I did not name this song, but you know. It's just how me writing my thoughts down, which is a great way if you have depression and anxiety, substance issues. Um, it's great to journal in general. I would recommend that to anyone, but it helps a lot with my disorders. Okay, so sometimes I don't know what to do. You say you love me, but I feel completely alone. You say things are going to be different. Blah, blah, blah. Same tone to the same song. I feel like I've proved my love over and over again. I've stood by you time and time again. I held your hand when no one else would. When everyone walked out and you had no friends. Each day you the struggle. It's like you pushed me to the edge. Further and further, you created this wedge. I never expected this to be easy. Because nothing worth having is. You say you try to make, make me happy. And all you want to do is please me. But everything is a big deal. And you have this sense of urgency in your voice. In your reality, it's all about choice. I'm going crazy here with you. Somehow you make me feel like it's all my fault. I can't be the one to find you. For you're going completely insane. For you live in a different world where you're deranged. You used to be gentle and take your time. And everything, and everything feels rushed and always on your time. <clears throat> I'm going to read that one more time. Sometimes I don't know what to do. You say you love me, but I feel completely alone. You say things are going to be different. Blah, blah, blah. Same tone to the same song. I feel like I've proved my love over and over again. I've stood by you time and time again. I held your hand when no one else would. Whenever you walked out and you had no friends. Each day is a struggle. It's like you pushed me to the edge. Further and further, you created this wedge. I never expected this to be easy. Because nothing worth having is. You say you try to make me happy, and all you want to do is please me, but everything is a big deal, or you have this sense of urgency in your voice. In reality, it's all about your choice. I'm going crazy here with you. Somehow, you make me feel like it's all my fault. I can't be the one to blame for you going completely insane, for you living in a different world, or you're deranged. You used to be gentle and take your time. But everything feels rushed and always your time. So I don't know if you've ever been in a relationship like that. Um, there obviously are signs of verbal abuse, which tend to lead to physical abuse. Um, I do hope that if you find this or hear this, that you get help, um, whether it's domestic violence, it's depression, it's anxiety, whatever the situation may be, do not be afraid, I cannot stress that enough. I was afraid for a long time, I felt like it made me feel inadequate or less than, it does not, it does not, I can't say that enough, I can't stress it enough, if you need help, please get help, there's help out there, whether it's federal funded rehabs, whether it's um, payment plans, um, there are behavioral units 
favorite facilities out there that will work with me no matter what. Um, so yeah, like I said, if you need help, be glad to help you guys. <clears throat> Just uh, comment below or send me a DM. Uh, and we'll do what we can, guys. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe. Wash your hands. I'll be seeing you. Have a great day. Peace.